how to know your rights are greater uh in our ashram in devanagari in bangalore cows milk were given to the neighborhood after uh, our usage and a day came there were huge amount of people in the queue asking for milk and we were not been able to give them sometimes even half a liter or quarter liter of milk then i asked him why there is such a big crowd uh, push and pull for our milk there are many institutes uh, selling milk go buy them then they said in now milk the quality is very 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 good hence there was a big fight but then in our school students Uh, more admissions came in and we thought of increasing the milk uh, to the children by another half a glass or one glass so everybody decided that we will give them less we'll give to the public less milk we'll announce that from next week you will not be able to get so and so milk because the school need it I asked my group was that a right decision that if there is if we wanted more milk for our children is it right that we cut out the milk from the other people in that way we will be a crook by not working hard we will try to always grab and try to take loan to run our school our mind should work to find out how can we increase the milk production yes when we increase the milk production our children can get more and outside people will continue to get what we were already given given them if you understand that one right how to know your rights are greater i think you will never go disturb your family asking them for a for a part of their property in that old age asking parents give a part of my property instead you will build a bigger property and that when time comes when they die it automatically mails with you do not disturb your parents asking for any part of their any share of their property their property their love is right inside you louis real born on 22nd october 1844 in the rupert's land died on 16 november 1885 in canada was a canadian politician the founder of the province of manitoba and a political leader of the metis people he led two resistance movements against the government of canada and its first prime minister john a macdonald Real sought to defend Metis rights and identity as the Northwest Territories came progressively under the Canadian sphere of influence. Louis Real said, "I suppose the half breeds in Manitoba in 1870. I come a little close to this one. I suppose the half breeds in Indira Nagar in Bangalore in 2022." did not fight for the 240 acres of land did not fight for the rakum schools land but it is to be understood there were two societies who treated together one was small but in smallness it had no it had its rights the other was great but in its greatness it has no greater rights than the rights of the small because the right is the same for everyone right of the rakum school the same like the right right of the indranagar residents right of the bda the rakum school if Ra- they say rakum school of encroached on land who is rakum school students it's the children of this country ngo non government organization what government couldn't do ngo is trying to fill up that gap to make the society better it's not the, the right of the residents and the government's duty to give a helping hand we never took a single piece of land from the government not a single pie from the government we begged the government we begged the public public was with us they helped us to run the school for all these years we were in indranagar for 38 years the small the rights it has no greater rights than the rights of the small neither the government neither the residents have the rights has no greater rights than the rights 
of rakum school because right is the same for everyone if we understood that that other was great society would treat it to one was small but in smallness it is right in that smallness of rakum school children in that smallness of they came with nothing they had nothing all these years 600 years the muslim invaders looted they never took care of the poor they made them a nobody by joining hands with the two person rich after that the british the french the dutch the portuguese came 200 years they put up the church and they did business and they took over the land but they forgot the poor 70 years or more than that of 1947 of independence even now it is not that the government should decide that rakum school needed a land they were asking make in india they are asking people to the foreign countries to come to india will give you land put up a business so that our people get get job here rakum school running and we are in indranagar for 38 years non stop 24 bar 7 he said not the right of the people government to come forward to give us a land we beg to buy small small and run the show the jealousy of the the rich jealousy of the greater is thinking our children are in rakum school all children are from kg to pg kindergarten to post graduation they did the ba they writing the civil service examination is that wrong when we came we didn't even have slippers to walk on the street when we walked barefooted one lady came running one resident lady only she came running. oh i can't see the children walking in barefoot she came and bought slippers for children then one day we found uh that shoe company get the kabartar what is that called night key company came and gave us shoes and we children walked with the night shoe and she was shocked she was like from where to where such was the love was there but what's wrong with the other side we have not encroached like what louis rail it is our land we have not encroached it was our land whose land is government land people's land first give to the people if people have not worked rakum school has not worked for all these years and brought the children up to post graduates get them married get them job is that not a Happiness. and then the the small one or two group in that place started uh, spreading uh, rumors not to give not to uh, uh, donate anything to rakum school but that did not stop people from coming to rakum school then they said don't give the old newspapers to rakum school give to us and they they robbed our newspaper old newspapers and they started selling can you believe it's pickpocket of the poor blind school students um, newspapers these people they were robbing and selling for what and keeping it for them try to be big hearted the rights our rights may be small you are thinking you are great louis real said but the rights are the same we should never come out of that thinking there were two societies treated together one was small but in smallness it had its rights in our smallness we did fight and the people knows 99.9% or more than 100% people knew and in that 100% pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream a shit has fallen into that residents group and i asked all the residents nobody is against us because they said rakum cannot encroach because rakum has only encroached into the hearts of every resident every bangalore every indian around the world with this beautiful talks and love and everybody in indranagar knows every smallest child from 2 and 1/2 years they seem to growing up to become a great officer married and settled that was what our encouragement was making people happy and many of the people told me seeing your growth seeing your love and affection we ourselves have brought down our diseases and how come somebody in that uh, cup of vanilla ice cream put, put a pint of shit in a cup of vanilla we have encroached yes it is our father's land it's not called encroachment it is a place where we are growing and it is their duty if they want it they can write it to us 
I suppose the half breeds in Manitoba in Indranagar in 1870 in 2000 they did not fight for 240 acres did not fight for the Rakum school but it is to be understood there were two societies who treated together one was small but in its smallness it had its rights we have our rights even if you are small you are thinking because you had materialistic money you have got some uh, top government officials with you you can smash us destroy us that's what the Britishers have done that's what the Muslim invaders have been done then what is the difference between you and them the other was great but it is greatness it has no greater rights than the rights of the small because the right is the same for everyone do not ask a share of the property from your parents it's a greater bigger circle 